guys, I am Ebony Brown. Welcome to Ebony Brown Chat. While you are here, take what you need, leave what you don't. Welcome to our little corner of the internet. I am so excited to have you guys here. So right now, I am reading Deuteronomy and this is just something that this is just a message that I have to share because so many of us are um, going after goals. We're trying to be successful. People want to be their own boss. Entre entrepreneurship is a big thing. People are investing in stock. We're parents. We're trying to do the best for our kids. We want to see the world. We just have so many things that we're working on. And one thing that I have learned in the Bible really three big things or four big things but one that i'm going to focus on today almost every story that i read in the bible there's a recurring theme of these four things one is do not be afraid two is i am with you always god is always with us three is be fruitful and multiply and the fourth thing that I always see in the Bible is God has gone before us. God goes before them. And that's the one I want to focus on. God, so even in Deuteronomy, there's so many times where they're on this journey, they're leading the lost children, you know, of Israel to the promised land. And God is always saying, like, I'm going to go before you. And I'm going to conquer these people, these nations. And then by the time you get there, the work is already be done. You just go in and slaughter. You know what I'm saying? Or God will tell them, I'm going before you. Um, don't touch these people. This is Lot's family. And I made a promise to Lot's family and I'm a faithful God. So don't touch these people. Don't provoke them. I'm going to put grace on their heart. Um, for y'all, I'm going before you, just keep it moving. So I think it's so important if it's your child's private school interview, if it's money management, if it's just God, I'm just about to drive to the store and I live in a rough neighborhood. Can you go before me and cover me? Whatever the case may be, I think it's so important for us to pray for God to go before us. So that way, by the time we get there, God has already done everything we needed to do. I told y'all, I just had an opportunity where God showed me the next part of my journey. And when he showed me the next part of my journey, I was like, okay, God, well, of course you told me to do this. I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to do it. But what I do need is for you to help me do this debt-free, God. I need you to help me make this a debt-free experience. And I need you to help me make this a debt-free experience. And I told you the opportunity landed in my lap. And when I met with them, they were so enamored by me. They were like, so just like, oh, you're amazing. You're perfect and things like that. And I'm like, okay, I'm good. I'm good. But listen, I'm, I don't know if I'm that good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew that it was nothing but God, nothing but God. They were telling me how I'm the best candidate that they have come across thus far and I immediately was blessed with the opportunity the next day after the meeting so like less than 24 hours so I said that to say when God goes before you all you have to do is show up and do what God told you to do and the coast is clear the path is clear do you understand me? The grace for you, the favor for you, all those things will already be there. So for me, there's not a move that I will make where I don't pray and ask God to go before me. Even with filming this video, I pray, Lord, go before me. Lord, humble me. Speak through me, Lord God. Bless me to be able to give this message to the person who need it. I'm not here. And I say this all the time. I'm not here 
to just appeal to the masses. I'm not for everyone, okay? I'm a woman of God. I'm a Christian woman. I am for who God calls me to, and that's it. That's it. So I always pray that whoever God needs to reach through me, I just pray that I reach them, that I do what I have to do to get to them. And you know what happened? Before, when I started these videos, I was like, I'm only going to do YouTube. Like, God told me to start a YouTube channel. I'm starting a YouTube channel. I'm not trying to do Instagram or TikTok or anything like that. And until everyone kept saying, and I'm like, no, God told me to do YouTube. I'm going to do YouTube. And then I just started praying, you know, for my messages to reach who they need to reach. That doesn't mean, that's not me saying I'm praying for a million views. I only want a million views if a million people need to hear what I'm saying. Do you understand me? If 10 million people need to hear this message, then I want this view to have this video to have 10 million views. If five people need to hear this message, then I want this video to have five views. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what I want. My intentions are pure. But like I said, I pray and I ask God to go before me. I ask God, I, I want to get this to who needs to hear it. And then me and my best friend, we had this conversation. I told her I started this YouTube channel and she told me, she was like, no, you have to start a TikTok. You have to do it. And when she said it, I knew the Holy Spirit was speaking through her because it felt still. And I felt it in my heart and I had no rebuttal. Like normally I'm like, no, God told me to do YouTube. I'm just going to do YouTube. That's what I'm doing. I had no rebuttal. God's voice is a still voice. It's a calm voice. You can feel it in your heart. Even if it's something that you may have fear about, something you may have been confused about or anxious about or whatever the case may be, you know it's God's voice when it's still. When it's still and it comes from the heart and you can always bag it up with scripture. Because you know, after she said that, I said, God, I hear you because you told me to take my talents and multiply them. You told me to go out and be fruitful and multiply. And then I began to think about the parable with the men of the men with the talents, the three men that God gave the talents to. And I said, you know what? I'm going to put it on TikTok. And I put it on TikTok. And the numbers that I've done on YouTube, like total, I did on TikTok in less than 24 hours. So I'm like, okay, God, I hear you. And then God spoke to me further. It's time. It's time. So I moved. I'm telling you, when you are going out, venturing into something, even when you're starting your day, anything that you want to do, ask God to go before you so that God can clear the way. Or so that God can show you the truth. Because it may be, hey, this isn't for you. This isn't for you. This is for someone else that I promised this to. But I have something better for you over here. So don't, don't go over there. Go this way. Or God will tell you, go over there. When you go over there, actually mention this person. And then go over here. So do you see what I'm saying? That's why you can't be bitter. That's why you can't be upset with people. You can't look at other people's wins and compare them to, to yourself. And you can't like be a gate gatekeeper. You can't block other people's blessings. Like you can't try to have everything to yourself because everything isn't meant for you to have. What's meant for you to have will bless you. It will amplify your life. You will be fruitful. You will multiply. Don't hold on to dead things. Don't hold on to things that truly aren't serving you. That's just taking up energy. Let it go. Give it back to God so that he can give that opportunity to who is meant for, and he can give you what, what what's meant for you. Because what's meant for you is probably greater than what you're holding on to anyway. So always pray and ask God to go before you. I am Ebony Brown. This is Ebony Brown Chat. Guys, I want to hear in the comments, 
What are you hoping for? What are you going for? What do you want God to bless? What are you going to ask God to go before you for or in? I really want to know. I'm excited. I want this to be so interactive. Um, I want you guys to leave comments. I want to communicate with you guys. Um, I love hearing your stories. If you like the video, of course, like the video. I would love for you all to subscribe so you can get more of these messages that God may have for you. Um, if you know somebody that this is meant for, and you know you just had this conversation with them, then share it with them. You know what I'm saying? Relay the message. Help be the blessing. But I have nothing but love for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and thank you so much. So I wish you guys much peace, many blessings. My name is Ebony Brown. This is Ebony Brown Chats. Remember, take what you need and leave what you don't. Bye, guys.